beautiful kind of day. I think the weather really has something to do with that. It really just lifts. It lifts your spirit. You lift it. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Man, I wish I had a YouTube channel. Oh shit. I feel like one of the things that this whole lockdown has done for me is made me take care of and get rid of a lot of people. I do! <laughs> hey guys, uh, welcome back from my six month hiatus. Okay, yeah, I mean, it might have really only been five months, but six months is still way too long. Especially when I promised that I would be uploading every single week. Alfie's so funny, every single time I get ice, he needs his piece of ice. Gentle. Good boy. Good boy. Anyways, yeah, six months, even five months, st still way too long. I might as well have been gone for like three years, but... Um, that's going to change right now. So, since it has been five months, um, I actually have a lot of things to catch you guys up on. And a lot of those things are actually the reason why I've been gone for so long. And when I say I have a lot of stuff to catch you up on, I mean a lot. Like, a lot has changed in my life in the past five months. Some of them are huge things, some of them are things that might be bigger to other people than they are to me. But... I've had a couple huge things happen and that it's basically been taking up all my time for the past couple months and that's why I haven't been uploading because I just straight up haven't had the time to do anything at all. So first of all, I guess, let's just talk about probably the hugest change. Um, I got a different job. So I actually don't work at the septic treatment plant anymore, which I don't know if that, if anybody really cares about that, but I got a lot better job, a lot higher paying job, a uh, bigger, bigger and better career somewhere I can see myself being for a lot longer time. The, one of the big changes that came with this job is I work a lot more hours but I have more days off, which means I actually have three days off a week. And the cool thing about that is that means I have plenty of time. I have three days in between my, my work week where I can make these videos, which is one thing I, I really, really liked about my new schedule. Um, ever since I got the job, I thought that would be one of the best things. But ever since I got that job, I've actually been working on my days off also trying to get money to buy a house. I have a lot of things I'm trying to trying to do in my life right now that re frankly require money. And even though I'm making a lot more money, I'm still trying to get every little bit I can. So I, I was actually working on my days off most of the time. So I've actually been working seven days a week for the past five months-ish. Um, but that's changing now. I'm freeing up my, t my free time, freeing up my free time. So now I have more time to do this, which is what I've really, really been wanting to do. For a while I was going back and forth. I'm like, do I actually want to do the YouTube thing? I got a really good job and I don't mind how much time that takes up for me.
But the longer it went on, the more I was like, man, I just want to make videos. It was so much fun. And it still is. <laughs> so, this is funny. Alfie's trying to follow me, but I'm kind of just going in circles. So he's like, why aren't you actually going anywhere? <laughs> um, so that's the first thing. I got a new job. I'm actually, if you guys are curious what that is, I'm a car hauler now. I'm driving car haulers, which if you haven't seen them, they haul up to nine cars. They're big beasts of trucks. And that's what I do now. I haul cars for Carvana, if you've ever heard of them. Um, anyways, that's the one thing. I don't know if anybody really cares about that that much, but it's a huge deal for me. I love it. I love my job. Um, I love the fact that I have three days off to do stuff like this. And uh, that's, yeah, that's the first thing. That's the first big change in my life. The second change in my life I think you guys might care about a little bit more than I do is my old Subaru, uh, my 2002 Subaru WRX. Um, I actually sold it. And that's not a huge deal to me because I needed the money and I got a really good offer for it. So I sold it. Um, but it's it, the thing I find really funny about that is to this day, the... <laughs> The video of me installing my front mount intercooler on my Subaru has by far the most views out of any video that I have. I mean, it's, it's not that many views, but it's way more than any of my other videos have. So that's kind of a bummer. I do miss it a lot from time to time. Um, it was a fun car, really good. <laughs> really good for working on and driving. It was super fun, but it was a money pit which was a huge problem for me. Every It seemed like every week I had something about that car was broken and I had to spend too much money to fix it. So, but the reason that's okay to me is because I have the MR2. And this is my car I'm gonna be working on, fixing up to drive, and it's gonna be the fun YouTube project car. So that's number two. Come on, Alfie. Tucker, my man. Oh, dude, you are way too excited. Way too excited. Oh, oh. Go, 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 go! Tucker and Alfie are best friends. Alright, thing number three. Um, I got a new job. I sold the Subaru. I got the MR2. Um... Thing number three, which is a pretty big deal, something else I did since you guys last saw me. Um, another main reason I sold the Subaru is because I needed something more reliable. I needed a vehicle, especially with my work. I needed something that I could commute with, that I knew was gonna start every time and run fine. The Subaru was my only vehicle that worked. So it's I needed something to commute with and I needed actually a truck because a lot of stuff I do in my life involves needing to haul something and I couldn't do that. Well, I could, but I was always borrowing my dad's truck, which I didn't like doing. He was fine with it. Everybody was cool with it. It's just, it was always a pain to figure out where that truck was and if I could borrow it and if anybody was using it. So what I did is I went and bought a truck. <laughs> this is my 2021 Ram Rebel. It's kind of like the TRX, just it's got 400 horsepower instead of 700. Um, and it wasn't a hundred thousand dollars. But yeah, this is my truck. Now this truck is awesome. I have zero regrets about buying this truck other than the fact that it was pretty expensive because if you know anything about the car market right now, everything's expensive. It's really hard to get a hold of everything, especially trucks. Um, for some reason, trucks are just so freaking expensive right now. Now I bought this truck like four months ago, but it was still really expensive and I needed to sell the Subaru for a down payment and everything. And I have zero regrets. This truck is freaking amazing it is the nicest thing i've ever owned it's it runs beautifully it had 25 miles on it at the dealership when i bought it and so i bought it from a dealer i am the first owner of this truck and i've never had something like that it's amazing i love it 
It's not as fun as the Subaru. I'll give you that. But it is, it's really nice. Do you guys want to hear it start up? It's pretty cool. So this truck has a 5.7 liter Hemi in it, which is the same motor they put in all the other Rams. Uh, but this is the Rebel. Re Rebel. Well, I guess. Rebel. Um, it's the Rebel, which just means it's like the off-road package. It's got bigger, the oversized tires, a uh, little bit bigger wheels. It's got the nicer suspension. More, It's like the off-road package of the Ram 1500. And it's got like a 12,000 pound towing capacity, which is what I really wanted was towing capacity because I'm constantly towing shit. Yeah, it's not the loudest, but I mean, it sounds good. It's a 5.7 Hemi. You can't argue with the fact that that sounds good. It's not as loud as it needs to be, and we'll probably fix that sooner than later. Um, another thing is, it doesn't have a truck bed liner, which bugs me, because every time I put stuff in there, it scratches the shit out of the paint. So that's another thing we're gonna change. So we're, we are gonna modify this. The wheels can, can use an upgrade, you know, I mean, it's a really nice truck, but I can't help but tinker with things, you know? I can't just leave it stock. Stock is no fun. So we will, we will work on this too. It won't just be the MR2. We'll, we'll do some things to this. One more thing. I do have one more thing that happened since I last saw you guys that I feel like will probably be worth telling you. So let's go down to the shop. That's another thing that's weird about this truck. This like dial gear shifting thing. I'm not a huge fan, but other than that, like, ooh, it's nice. Gauge cluster is cool. This is my driving buddy. It's a little duck. Focus. It's a little duck. Carmen put it there, and Carmen loves it, so the duck stays. It's my little driving buddy. Good boy. All right, let's get down to the shop. I know I was just down here and I just locked this door again. But now I'm unlocking it again because I don't have a single track mind. My mind's constantly going all over the place. So I should have done this part while I was down here a minute ago, but I just don't work like that. It'd be way more efficient, but you know, <laughs> that's my life. Anyways, so the other thing I didn't uh, mention to you guys is I got this MR2, this 1985 Toyota MR2. It's our project car. But the problem was is I needed some parts for it. And that is why I purchased that. <laughs> it's another MR2. Exactly the same as the other one. I shouldn't say exactly the same because it's not. Um, this one has some different things like the side skirts it has, whereas mine, it's, it's painted black, but it doesn't have the little flare on the side. Um, it's an automatic, so. Ew! Gross! Yeah, it's an automatic. But the most important thing, I think you probably just saw it in that shot, but the most important thing is it has all the dash parts. Oh! Yes! All of the dash parts. And the reason why that's so important is because this one doesn't. This is the manual version. It's a five speed. This is the one I really wanted to fix up and it doesn't have any of the dash parts. And the cool thing about that is I picked this car, this entire car up, it runs and drives, it's an automatic, for probably the same price, if not just a little bit more at what I would have paid 
for all of the dash parts in that car. These things are getting hard to find. I don't know how in God's earth I ended up with a second one because they're getting hard to find and more expensive if you do find them. But I picked this one up for like the same amount I would have spent on the, say, the parts that I'm taking out of it for that one. And it's a whole nother car. So any other parts we need, it's there. And I'm so, st I don't know if you could tell, but I'm so stoked about it. It's the coolest thing ever. It's exactly the same car other than being an automatic. So if we need like motor parts, if we want to take the motor out of this one, because I think it's a little lower mileage, we can do that. Put it in that one. It's, it's so cool. I had a guy message me on Instagram. It's actually a friend of mine. He messaged me on Instagram and he was like, hey, I saw you have an MR2. Do you want another one? And I was like, dude, I just bought this. I don't know if I really have the money to buy another one. He's like, this is the price and my friend has it. So if you want it, I'll tell him that. And this is the price he'll take for it. And I was like, you know what? You can tell him if I can get it for that price, I will come pick it up tomorrow. And the next day I was on my way with my girlfriend to pick it up and I drove that home. It was like an hour drive to my house and it ran beautifully. So suspension shot. Um, there's a couple little things. Some of the gauges don't really work, but it's a second MR2. So we have a parts car. We have the main car. It's a good time. So there you go. That's what's new in my life. That's why I've been gone. Um, you guys probably don't really care about the excuses as much, but I'm back. I'm back, baby. And I'm gonna put the camera over here because lighting's a little better. So yeah, that's what's going on in my life. As of right now, I only have 39 subscribers. I shouldn't say only. I have 39 subscribers. I love every single one of you. Um, th so that's why I've been gone. I'm gonna be here as often as I possibly can, like I was saying with my new job and at the point I'm at now, I got the time, all the time, I shouldn't say all the time in the world, I got all the time in three day periods to make these videos. And honestly, I forgot how much fun it was. Even just making this one little video was it, it's super fun. I was just walking around talking to the camera. It's a good time. It's a good time. I had fun. I hope you guys had fun. I had fun. Anyways, I'll be back next week. Keep an eye out for the next video. By the end of the next video, we will have the MR2 running and take it on a little drive because I haven't gotten to drive that one yet. I got to drive the automatic. The manual one, I, I haven't gotten to drive yet because we trailered it here and it's literally sat for five months. So keep an eye out next week at this time, there will be another video up and then hopefully every single week after that, at the very least every other week after that, I will have another video for you guys. Um, thanks for watching all 39 of you love you guys and uh, it's been real it's been fun and I guess I'll see you in the next one should be next week bye